Joseph. This has got to be as frustrating an offense as there is to try to defend. Uh, at least there's something more glamorous about getting beat on a 70-yard pass play or a 53-yard run or lots of spectacular plays. But, I mean, they're just picking it up in little chunks. But, boy, they're just grinding the clock out and, uh, I would presume, wearing the Sun Devils down. Eight. On the last few plays, the Devils have only been rushing three and dropping eight back in pass coverage. Campbell putting. Barefoot Hunter. No chance that a run back as a touchback. Midway third quarter, which has been scoreless. So the Sun Devils are still clinging to a seven-point lead and will have the football. Back situation. The third down and about six to go for a first down for Lamar. Scott Walker is in defensively in place of Metcalf. Jeff Molstad has replaced Nathan LaDuke. Nathan LaDuke. <laughs> LaDuke, easy That's for you to say. say. <laughs> Third and six. Evans, a lot of time. Oh, boy, there's Franklin. And a flag down at the 32-yard line as Franklin rolls to the 22. You give a quarterback in the run and shoot that much time, you can just pretty much forget it. Uh, move the chains, go down, set up for the next play. He has all kinds of time to throw here. As again, the Sun Devils are rushing only three players, dropping eight back in coverage, but it's still not enough to prevent this play. But looks like the play is going to come back thanks to the yellow hankies. There was a gain on the play from the 40 to the 22. So an 18-yarder will apparently be nullified. And Ray Alborn gets the explanation from the official. There's Ray pointing. Ray's been getting a lot of personal explanations tonight. Yes. What's the word, what's the word we were using? Feisty? Chippy? I don't know how you want to describe uh, the team, but uh, they say the team is often... Pass interference on the offense. It's also a loss of down. Fourth down. Wow, what a costly oh. penalty. Woo. Unbelievable. A team oftentimes takes on the characteristics of its coach, and uh, if that man looks chippy to you, his football team is very much the same way. They are giving the Sun Devils a dogfight tonight. Campbell, he of the unshod foot, hunting to the Duke. This time it is not La La Duke. <laughs> Good height. 16 of ASU. Very good coverage by the Lamar special team, and the Sun Devils will have to start inside their own 20 with 3.21 left to play in the third quarter. We shall leave you, but return in a moment. Ford and company from the Sun Devil 18. No more than about two yards for the human projectile from Flagstaff. While we were away, Ray Alborn, whom you see right there, the Lamar head coach, delivered a message to one of the officials from long distance, which, if I read lips correctly, could not be delivered to a family audience. I was going to dare you to quote him, Ray. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Second down eight after Winsley's two-yard pickup at the Sun Devil 20. Very late third quarter, two minutes left. 17-10 ASU. Oh, he overshoots Tony Johnson at the 41 yard line. So Ford misfires with his receiver. The crowd again lets loose with its impressions of what's going on here at Sun Devil Stadium. Ever since the first period, the ASU offense has stymied. They've bogged down completely, unable to get anything generating when they've got the football. Ray, I think it might be good to stop and think about what's going on here. You're talking about ASU playing a Division I, 2A opponent that lost its regular quarterback prior to kickoff, lost its number one running back prior to kickoff, and they are giving Arizona State a dogfight and, in fact, seem to be dominating the Sun Devils at this point, although that play uh, went awry there as Ford was unable to come up with a catch. Second and ten at the Sun Devil 40. of Robert Allen off the defender and then caught at the 15-yard line to Robert Allen. All right, let's follow the bouncing ball now, shall we? As Evans gets the pass. One hit, two hits. Allen, second time's a charm, folks. 
An incredible play by Robert Allen. The ball is down at the 18-yard line of the Sun Devils, and there will be no time remaining in the quarter. So that brings some reaction from the crowd as we've reached the end of three quarters, a scoreless quarter, but not without its excitement. Most of it provided by the young men in white. We'll be back. Passes. Well, we're in a timeout with 1.36 remaining. If there is such a thing as a moral victory, and I know there are a lot of coaches say there is no such thing, but I would have to vote Ray Alborn if the score remains that way or if ASU were to add to the margin. I'd have to say his team has definitely scored a moral victory here tonight. No question. He has to be happy with this. Has to be. Ford. Pass hot, 14-yard line, Tony Johnson. Although I might have to amend that statement. I mean, quite frankly, given the way things have gone, Lamar could very well have beaten Arizona State tonight. And... Uh, uh, perhaps Lamar is letting a victory get away from them. Are you, uh, I'm sure it's giving a little bit of thought to two perfectly thrown touchdown passes that were dropped by Lamar receivers. By one of the... Tonight you can catch complete highlights of the game and hear Coach Larry Marmee's comments on the Larry Marmee Show following News Channel 3. First and 10 ASU, 19-yard line, and there goes Fisher. And he lost the, the football. Flag down, and the ball is turned over. Fisher fumbles unofficially. That's the third turnover, pass interception, fumbled by Winsley, and now fumbled by Fisher. So Lamar has the ball. They have no timeouts remaining, the Cardinals. What a so. job Ray Alborn has done with this football team. Brought them into the Pac-10, and uh, they have a chance. It's not a very good chance because of the lack of times out, but they have a chance to beat Arizona State on this last possession of the football game. Time for the Devil defense to hunker down and hold once again. Now, I'm wondering whether the Sun Devils will try to pressure the quarterback or go into a prevent-type defense since Lamar has no timeouts remaining. I look for the pressure myself. Let's see. A good hit by Robbie Boyd shook that ball loose from Tyrone Shavers. Right near uh, Tacoma. It is fourth down and ten at the 11-yard line of Lamar with 107 remaining. Evans desperately looking for somebody. Oh! I'll be real anxious to hear Coach Marmee's comments on our show uh, about a half hour from now. Yes. Fisher, who fumbled a few moments ago, has both arms wrapped around the football as CLA out up in Seattle. 30 seconds left in the clock record. There goes Fisher again. It was about two yards of making a lie out of that not scoring in the fourth quarter so far this season. In fact, the devil on all the arithmetic, except the final arithmetic. Third and less than one. Two yards and one foot away from the goal line that is yet to be crossed by ASU in the fourth period. Not too many more than family and friends remain in Sun Devil Stadium. Like the original crowd of over 69,000 adults. Lots of good sections available right now. Double tight ends. Rask and McReynolds, the tight ends. Fisher, there it is. Oh, Kelvin Fisher. <laughs> the freshman from Baden, Pennsylvania, provides the first points for the Sun Devils in the fourth period this year. The scoreboard leads. 23. Those fireworks in the pregame, and we thought we'd be hearing that sound a lot tonight. And uh, maybe fortunately for our ears, we haven't, but uh, not fortunately, I think, for uh, Larry Marquis, but just the process right now. Well, you know, Tim, if I don't have time when the game is over, here is here's a salute from our broadcasters to Lamar University out of Beaumont, Texas. We all know where it is now, folks, and they've they've got an effort to be proud of tonight. Those in Dejas who had missed an earlier field goal, is successful in his extra point. 11-point lead for ASU and seconds left. 